All right, so I'm just gonna make this quick rant video on why I hate so much electronics in these new cars. So here I have my 2012 Ford Explorer. I had this car for about six years. And the thing is, my electric power steering assist went out. You see how stiff the steering wheel is? You're gonna see it pop up. It's hard. See that power steering assist fault? So basically I reset the battery. I did, um, I reset the battery, I mean, I took off the negative battery cable, let it sit for like 20 something minutes, and you see my check engine light was flashing because of that power steering assist fault. So basically you can't steer the car, and like I said, I reset the, the computer by taking off the battery, negative battery terminal for like 30 minutes, and yeah, it's still gone. So everybody always knows that electronics, heat is electronics biggest enemy. And of course, you know, down there, you got all the exhaust from the engine, the manifold, everything, all that heat is down there. So of course your electronics not gonna last for long. And the crazy thing about this is what if this happens to you when you're driving home, your steering wheel just gets stiff. That's gonna be, yeah, that could cause an accident, which I know probably people have gotten accidents due to that fault. But the crazy thing is, I don't even know why would you go from a perfectly good hydraulic, yes, hydraulics do leak, and you have to change your power steering pump, but I'd rather deal with that because you can still at least drive the thing. Compared to this, you're stuck. And it just makes me think about the whole EV movement that's going on, that now everything's going to be electronic by, what, 2030 or 2035, something like that. So it makes me wonder, like, there's going to be a lot of these type of issues going on because electronic parts gonna wear out or they I always think dealers program parts to wear out at a certain mileage now I have had this car for six years 206,000 miles on it and I was just thinking about the stuff that's I'm gonna have to replace I'm probably just gonna go get me a pickup it'll help me move my cars around and all that anyways so but it just makes me think about all this electronics in car that's why I always try to that's why I like the old car so much because there's a lot less electronics in here well in my old cars because it's more simpler and easier to get things go less computer the better a car is the less computer the better a car is but i mean the car has been good to me and of course stuff is gonna break but it's just like this is also a hazardous issue because if something happens if this was to go out on the road when you're driving like 80 miles at a high rate of speed that could especially if you're not a real good driver that could make you crash anything and a lot of these new cars now have electric power steering so it's really not much you can really do now to change that so i just got a quote the rack is about fifteen hundred dollars if anybody knows the rack power steering rack is about fifteen hundred dollars and if you want a shop to do it i just want to see what a shop would charge it's twenty eight hundred dollars basically labor so i just rounded off to three thousand if you want to get the power steering rack so now you just got to make that decision it's like hmm put the three thousand to fix it or just go get you a pickup i'm just gonna go get me a pickup but electric power steering why <laughs> that's all i can say why yes they say the benefits of electric power steering is better gas mileage less what less drag on the engine because you're not wearing another belt on it but then this happens <laughs> you go out one morning to go to work or whatever and bam or well, whenever you're driving bam your damn power electric power steering because you basically got to change the rack and pinion because the motor is inside and it basically sends a signal when you turn the, the wheel left to right it basically sends a signal saying okay you're turning left you're turning right etc and that's how it communicates it's all computerized so yeah but it's just a little rant well i think i'm not a big fan of ev but that's the direction we're going but these are the problems we're going to run into electronic device and heat do not mix they might get stuff better but who knows Instead of your car lasting like this, 206,000 miles, it might only last 100 something because who knows how good that rack is that's electronic assist. But yeah, just want to do that little rant. But yeah, just a little rant on my 2012 Ford Explorer with this. Oh yeah, and Ford did have a recall on these for, I think it was 2011 and something, but mine didn't have that. But yeah, there was an issue with this. I don't know if they gotten better. But most people don't really keep their mind, their car as long as I do. Because I keep mine. I get my money's worth out of them. Like I said, I own this car for six years. Got 206,000 miles. 
the only other expensive repair on this car I had to do was the freaking um um water pump because the water pump is time is a chain driven one but yeah just a little stupid rant <laughs> all right more to come on some real cars peace